You're listening to Work It Lady, where the goal is for all ladies to be the best versions of ourselves. And if you happen to be a mom, be the best mom ever and maintain your sanity while we do it. Okay, ladies. So, hey, the beauty panel is back. Hey, hey. Uh, It has been a while since we have done a beauty panel episode, but we are recharged and ready to go. So just an FYI, if you remember, of course, we have Genesis on our beauty panel. Hey, Genesis. Hi, everybody. It's nice to to be back. (laughs) Yeah, Genesis is a makeup artist here in the Los Angeles area, and um, she does all kinds of creative projects and provides makeup for those projects. So I'm all always glad to have another makeup girl here on the podcast and of course we have Sonia. Sonia is the owner of Recover Restore Grow and Sonia's hair care brand is amazing just so you guys know that is exclusively the line I'm using at the moment and she has go to her website lots of great client testimonials it is a natural um, vegan line all plant-based so give it up for Sonia Um, Okay, so today we're going to be talking about some of our favorite things at Sephora. I feel like Sephora has exploded um, in the past like three years. I feel like they are just popping up everywhere now. There's as many Sephora's as like 7-Elevens, I feel. So today I just wanted to kind of talk about some of our favorite things at Sephora, like, you know, a couple things each of us have, and we'll share them with you guys. So next time you're in, um, you know what to look for. So to start, Genesis has a couple of things she wants to share. So what do you got that you like at Sephora? Okay, so um, I have three products to share. Nice. I'm going to start with the first one. First, this is like a contour stick from Makeup by Mario. It is a cream bronzer and it comes in six different shades. What I really like about this is that it's very easy to blend. And Mario was so smart when creating this because on this side, there's a brush. So you can easily apply it on and then just blend it out with the brush. But he didn't stop there. The brush is detachable, so you can wash it. And I'm like, what else is there? <laughs> yeah, that's legit. You gonna yeah, make, I, it, make it right. And it it's, I'm wearing it, so you can't really see it much on camera, but it's uh-huh. really, really pretty. And uh, you can use this in multiple ways. A lot of people like putting it straight on the face and then blending it out. What I find it most useful is like warming it up on my hand and then taking the brush and applying it that way it like it looks a bit softer in my opinion so this is the the first product <laughs> and can you give me the name of that again because that's yeah and we it, will link it for you guys in the description yeah it's called makeup by mario soft sculpt shaping stick i use the one in the shade medium and uh, this is what it looks like again beautiful yeah, I am obsessed. I like the packaging too. The packaging, I do too. Good. Like, I don't know. It's just giving me all the expensive, like I am worth it vibes. <laughs> it's very like sleek and clean. I really like it. Like, it's not too much. Yeah. Okay. So the second product actually recently came out, and I talked about it on my Instagram stories. I was so shocked with how many responses I got. But it's a new foundation that Nars came out with. Mm. Um, it's called Light Reflecting Foundation. And I absolutely love this because it feels like like your skin, but better. It's very, very, very lightweight. And it's funny because I've worn it to the gym. I never wear makeup to the gym, but one day I was like, I'm going to get glam. I'm just going to do my day-to-day errands, go to the gym. I went to the gym and I kid you not, it did not come off. Wow. I was sweating. I went in the sauna twice. <gasps> it did not come off. The sauna and test. I was shocked. I was really, really shocked about it. And so this comes in, I forgot how many shades, but there's a huge shade range for this particular foundation. And I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing this one right now too. So it yeah. looks great. Yeah, I love that. NARS, I do like NARS. It's been a long time since I had some of their stuff. And I always like they're a good line. I love NARS. Mm-hmm. They, they really are. So I really love this. And it's light to medium coverage. So 
when you apply it once it looks like skin and it really blurs out like you know the little blemishes and everything but if you want that extra coverage you can go in with the second layer and it's buildable so that's another thing i really like about this foundation and it does not feel heavy at all so that's that's a big bonus nice very yeah. nice so the last and third uh product are these blushes from rare beauty it's uh selena gomez's makeup line mm -hmm. and these are actually mini like sizes of her blushes this came in like a little pack the pack unfortunately is not sold anymore because it's it sold out everywhere but mm -hmm. they do have the regular size ones and what I really love about these blushes is that it's a liquid blush. Let me show an example. It's a liquid blush. It comes with a, like a doe foot applicator. Mm -hmm. You can just blush. dot it on your skin and blend it out with your finger. Okay. And it's very sheer, but you can also build it up. And oh. it gives you that really nice like little glow and like rosy cute cheeks that you want. It's, yeah, it's really I like great. that. I'll yeah. be liking a look a little rosy. <laughs> you all know how I love my, my pinks. A little goes a long way. I noticed sometimes, like when I was first testing out the product, I would put a bit too much and I would be really pink. I'm like, okay, no. So I would, be, <laughs> I would have to just put one dot and one dot was enough. Seriously. And okay. this is also very lightweight. I'm very into very lightweight foundations and, you know, products lately. So this is a win for me. I that is definitely. gorgeous on your skin. I mean, it's just yeah. beautiful. I like the natural undertone that it, mm -hmm. it brings out too. I'm going in again and then blending it out. And you could see how nice and pink it looks. It's not too pink. It's mm -hmm. not too bright. It's perfect. So perfect. this comes in a lot of shades as well. And the ones I have is like a it's like a pale pink, more of a peachy tink, a pink, and this one is more of an orangey peach color. Mm. So it has a lot of shades, and I'm obsessed with these. I like it, too, because it almost has like an iridescence to it. Like it looks like it's reflective, like it's got some of those mm -hmm. light reflecting pigments in there, but it's not like blinding you. Yeah, it's not that blinding you. It's really all. good. Yeah. I it love the really packaging, good. too. The packaging is super cute. Yeah. I really like it too because um Selena said that she made it easy for people who have like arthritis on their hands so it's easy to you know open that's why it has a little knob too oh. wow I noticed that I was like I wonder what that cute little knob is <laughs> so it's yeah. practical and it's functional and it comes from a caring place it's really cute mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I really love these blushes that is awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for sharing those with us. Those are super cute. So definitely we'll link all of those um, in the episode for everyone to check out. Now let's have Sonia. You've got a couple as well, right? I do. And this one has been my all-time favorite. I used to use this a lot in the salon. Uh, Moroccan oil. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this or used it before. I'm trying to get it in a good light. But it is a nice natural oil treatment moroccan oil it smells divine and a little bit goes a long way i would use it on my clients um, sometimes i would put it like in their conditioner and then i would put it as a conditioning treatment and then rinse it out but then even when i flat iron hair so like my hair is very fine i have it on my hair right now it just gives me that nice sheen yeah. but it's also very protective so i put just a little bit in the palm of my hands um, I don't know if you can see it and you rub it in you thin it out really really well it's going to give you a really good sheen it's going to protect the hair from the heat and it's just a nice finishing look wow. and it keeps the hair nice and lightweight so i've always loved moroccan oil um their um, oil treatment product it's amazing to me especially after like you've gotten the hair color you know or you've uh, got some type of chemical service you want to be able to use it so you can see that i just put it on there the hair mm -hmm. is still moving, but it still has like a nice sheen to it. And it does not look oily either. Nobody likes no. that greased up look anymore. You know, no. that no, no. 90s greased look. Girl, you know? I know like that 90s press and curl. Oh, <laughs> take me back to my childhood. I just want to cry about it. Oh, <laughs> this will not give you 90s press and curl look, but it will have your hair still moving. It will shine and it's a great protective product. So I love this. Um, for treatment for the conditioner and even for after you're done flat ironing to protect the hair. So it's a winner in my book. 
and it's alcohol free which is really nice mm -hmm. because you know if you put alcohol on the hair it's just going to dry your hair out even further so this is excellent in my book also i have one of my other favorite things because between wearing my hair straight i also love to wear my hair curly and sometimes like when i'm on the go and i don't have time to air dry for 24 hours and I gotta like dry my hair really, really quick. I've always loved Diva Curls um, towel. Um, mm. It's a very popular towel. I know a lot of people have purchased it and it's very popular, um, but it's microfiber. It dries your hair in half the time that it would, even if you were to use a diffuser. What I appreciate about it as well, it has this neat little hook that you can hang it on so the towel can air dry, but also, you ladies know how we like to like put our towel on. We like to wrap it up and look cute. It works as a dual function because it helps you kind of secure it on the top of your head where you can loop the ends through creating that nice little natural, you know, pop up at the top. Mm -hmm. So this is probably one of my favorites. And this towel, you guys, I've had this probably for 10 years and it has held up really well. I don't have any holes or anything in it. So it's a good one in my book, especially if you're a curly girl. Wow, that is incredible. And you got that as well. I didn't even know they sold towels at Sephora. Yeah. Sephora, yeah, yeah, they carry Diva Curl products. So they have this, they have the Diva Curl hand diffuser. And, yes. A yeah. single diffuser, yeah. Yeah. Wow, super cool, guys. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing those. I'll have to really give that towel, give that towel a go because that sounds like a good deal. Girl, um, it out. It's good. Quick and easy. And for the little ones too, they got all that curly hair. If you just want to wrap it up real quick after you put their little curl styler in it, a win in my book. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for that. You guys have shared some really good things. Um, I have a couple little things um, to share now. You guys know your girl. Your girl is frugal, right? So <laughs> and Genesis and Sonia are sharing some of the higher end items at Sephora. You know, I have to share some of the little <laughs> lesser costing, um, which is fine. Sometimes I go in there. I have a ton of stuff from Sephora, um, but sometimes I just go right to this section. And this might be a section that you may overlook. You may not realize. That's why I want to make sure I say it today. And that is the Sephora brand. OK, I head in there and I look for the Sephora brand because right now the price point is what's affordable for me. So I've kind of had to dial back on um, some of the other other product lines that I would use, different makeups that I would use, lip products that I would use. I was using more higher end stuff. But now, hey, let's face it, times are a little tough. So I want to use things that are a little bit more save my little coins a little bit. So Sephora brand, if you are on, um, you know, a budget as to what you want to spend is great because, you know, it's some of it is pretty comparable i'm not gonna say it's exactly the same as the high-end stuff because it's you know it's a reason it costs a little bit more um but it will get you by and it i feel comparable to or better than most of the things you're going to get at the drugstore so you got like your drugstore cosmetics that they've come a long way too you know because i had shunned all them for a while and recently i've been like hey, wait a minute that's pretty good so um you know but these i would say are like maybe just a hair above you know the drugstore cosmetics which i like you know so i'm gonna talk about the first one which is this sephora hydrating lip balm these are great i want to say these are six dollars but i noticed not every sephora carries them um i had some really dry lips for a long time and um my apple a day thing that i was doing and this is what i feel has really solved my dry lip issue this stuff is great it is actually a natural product too um that was something that i was kind of um surprised about um i i'm not sure if it's a 100 vegan or not but it is a um a naturally based product. And this is just the Sephora brand hydrating lip balm. Again, they're six bucks. And this is avocado butter plus plant-based squalene. Um, I did not have the opportunity to look up what squalene is, but um, 
from what I could tell you, um, with all the products that I've tried, you know, being a makeup artist before and being in the industry, this is a great lip product. And what I like too is that it is just um a bomb, but it does have a little bit of a tint to it. So it'll give you just a little some kind of sheen on your lips, you know. Um, if you just want something to kind of, you know make you look a little bit, give you a little bit of oomph, but you're not trying to do a full, you know, lipstick look or whatever. So I would definitely recommend this. Now, the other thing, these I got on sale. They are usually a little bit more, but these are Sephora brand lipsticks. They have a ton of different lip products. I've tried a couple of them. These ones were um, recently on sale. There's a whole name of this collection. Um, uh, I can't remember what the name of the collection is, but for example, this is called Lip Stories um, and the color is Owie. So it's like this cute, small lipstick. You know, it's not the same size as a full on lipstick, I feel, because you can see the little thing is a little short, you know, but it's nice. And again, this one is called, um, the name of it is over here, Owie. Or maybe we? I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, maybe we. I should know. But um, it's really cute. I like the packaging. You know, the packaging isn't like, this is definitely just like a plastic. You know, it's not anything real fancy or anything like that. But hey, I'm just trying to do a little something and I'm okay with the cheaper plastic. And, you know, it's got a nice little picture on the outside. And I like this color too. This one says it's made in Italy, which is nice. Um, this one is made in Italy as well. So maybe this whole line is, it probably is. But um, this one is hot in Havana and it's a red, but it is an orange based red. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those really strange people that has very orange undertones. Most people um, have yellow undertones. Um, I'm one of the rare few that has orange. So orange actually works for me. It does not work for most people. So most people really are not going to like this, but the orange based reds really do work for me. So I'm like loving this little orange lipstick, orangey red lipstick, hot in Havana. And I want to say this was with the discount, because I think that they were half off, I want to say it was like $5, $6 with the discount, because they were 50% off that day, they just happened to be having a sale. So I feel like, you know, the normal price would have been maybe 10 or 12. That's not too bad for like, you know, a better lipstick a little bit better than what you would get at the drugstore none of these have dried my lips or felt weird you know when you get those real cheap lipsticks yeah. like wet and wild and your lips be on fire and stuff you're like okay this yeah. ain't even oops, sorry <laughs> you'd be like this ain't even worth it you know I know I want a dot of lipstick but I don't want my lips on fire <laughs> so this this is a great um a great buy it's just a great buy any questions on any of our products that we've shared with I each other? I can't have one. Like the texture of that lipstick. Is it a matte or is it like? They're kind of, I would say, oh, I put the top on that one. I didn't even do that. This is like a semi cream. It's not like the creamy is, but it's definitely very creamy. Okay. But it's not like a liquid cream like or anything. Cream. It's. Okay. I feel like it's like a buttery base. Like if I could oh, equate God. it to something like that. Um, and I, I love this color. Um, you know, it's just, you know, me guys, I like just something I can throw on my lips and look like I did something. So I usually go for bright lipsticks because I don't ever have time to do a whole thing. But, and then this is the other one. This is Hot in Havana, the orange based I red. I love Hot in Havana. I, I need to get some of that. Yeah. yeah. That one's really, really pretty, but oh. I would never wear it. Yeah. It's <laughs> I personally would never wear it, but I'm sure it looks amazing on oh, yeah. so yeah. Most brown and black people, you know, it, it's mm -hmm. not gonna because most of us have the yellow undertones, and I can see you're more of an olive base. Sonia's more of an olive base too. So it's you know, I say this, uh, try this one at your own discretion because you may get and be like, I don't know what in the world Claire was talking I would about. Try this it. I, would try it. I wore orange lipstick in middle school. I had a beautiful orange red and I, I thought it was cute. I, I'd, be, I'd be curious to see how it looked now. 
<laughs> hey, and you know, as long as my thing is, as long as you feel good with what you got on, you know, yeah. the confidence yeah. is part of the beauty, you know. <laughs> Some people wear blue lips all at hey, it's all good. Yes. <laughs> blue hair, green hair. Yeah. Hey, it's all good. Um, all right, ladies. So this has just been a quick little um Sephora share. Um, some different items from hair items to makeup to everyday items. So I hope that you find the information useful for yourself. I hope that you'll go to Sephora and check some of these out. And if you have any questions on the products, please just drop us a quick little note on the YouTube um, for this episode and see all the links to the products there as well. All right, ladies, thank you so much for listening to Work It Lady. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh,